Question number eight is, what temperature does a heat pump run at? Is that different from your boiler? And if it is, what effect does that have on your house? And again, I like to step back a little before answering this question and ask, what temperature does your heating at home run at? Most people have no idea. They never actually measured it. They just go to the boiler and turn the knob on the front and wait until the house is warm enough. But I'll give, give you a couple of guides. If you go to your radiators and you can physically hold the radiator and hold onto it for more than a couple of minutes, it's probably around the sort of 50 or 60 degree mark. If you get to the point where you touch your radiators and you can only hold them for a few seconds, then you're probably running at something like 70 degrees. It's, it's a bit rough, but it kind of works well. Now, the problem with a heat pump is that the higher we run the radiator temperature, the more energy we have to use. It's kind of like driving your car faster. So what we try and encourage you to do is to run the radiators a little bit colder, but run them longer. So instead of turning your heating on and off, um, like you might do with a boiler, we're gonna try and encourage you to keep those radiators a little bit cooler, but just running and running and running. It sounds crazy, but it's the way to do it. You save money in the long term, and it's actually much more comfortable because the house maintains a constant temperature. So the effect is the heating is on much longer, the radiators are a little bit colder, you're definitely not gonna scold yourself on them, but that is the main difference between a heat pump of today and a gas boiler that you're used to.